Niraj, thank you very much for coming today. Very good to see you here. Let me start by asking you to tell us a little bit more about uh, InvestCorp. What do you guys do? I know you're very strong on warehousing, but please tell us more. So we are uh, global uh, mid-market fund managers uh, with uh, $50 billion a year. Currently, uh, we are present in uh, most of the geographies uh, globally. Uh, we operate across various uh, sectors, real estate, private equity, uh, absolute uh, credit, uh, hedge funds, you know, uh, so across uh, all kind of products uh, on, at a global level. Now, in India, we are right now present across two sectors, uh, which is private equity and real estate, uh, with a AUM of uh, 800 million or so upwards. Uh, and the plan is to kind of keep growing the AUM, uh, you know, uh, into, into a more much larger kind of target yeah. Good. Uh, where do you see, I know you're active in warehousing, but when you look at the market as a whole, where do you see the best opportunities? So I think the warehouse market uh, is evolving. Uh, it has taken a more institutional uh, shape in last uh, six, seven years, uh, where a lot of uh, investors committed capital uh, to the sector. Uh, so. Cumulatively, we've, you know, investors have committed upwards of $10 billion uh, to the sector. I think uh, I think there are opportunities uh, uh, across uh, multiple, uh, multiple cities, multiple uh, development stages. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think the right partnership, right uh, location uh, is critical. Uh, for developing. And what are the plans for the next 12 months? Are you expanding the, the business? Are you waiting for, 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 for fundraising? What are you? Yeah, so we, uh, so warehousing is the key theme, uh, key uh, conviction uh, sector for us and we'll continue to invest in India uh, uh, over the next 12 months. Uh, we've already committed the uh, and invested uh, upwards of uh, 100 million dollars in India uh, in the warehouse sector. I think the plan is to uh, kind of double that every one or two years and uh, kind of make it into a larger, uh, larger thing for us. Yeah. And what would be the main challenge for you to get to this plan? I think I think right now uh, definitely a, there is a lot of of capital, uh, which is chasing the sector. So what that does is it kind of makes uh, some of the valuations uh, frothy. Uh, so I think we have to tap the right partnerships, right uh, right uh, projects uh, to grow. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's, there is always a opportunity uh, in niche uh, you know, developers and niche kind of areas where you can, you know, they can get the right, uh, right opportunity, right partnerships uh, to invest. And a final question, how do you compare India with other markets competing for capital, for, for, for foreign capital? Why is India more attractive? Uh, uh, like you've heard, you know, India is kind of called the oasis in the desert, uh, given, uh, you know, you look around your Cells, you know, the other countries are going through their uh, macroeconomic challenges, uh, inflation, etc. I think we are on the right track uh, uh, on the policy front, uh, on the uh, on the fiscal front, uh, and uh, you know, we we have the right, I think, uh, building blocks uh, from here on to actually uh, take it to the next level. Niraj, thank you very much. Pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. Nice talking to you.